Hey guys, welcome back to Piggy Thea's Beauty. So I'm basically coming to you with my first empties haul ever. Um, I have a hard time trying to save stuff um, after I use it. And I've probably thrown away a lot of stuff that I could have used um, in this empties video. But anyway, enough blabbing, enough talking about it. I'm going to go in there. I have a new background, y'all. So basically all I did was um, just like... You know, made it cute in the background. Made my background cute. Uh, this is my desk that I normally was sitting at before and the door was behind you. But I thought that I wanted to make it look um, better so I could have kind of like a background. Um, so these are flowers. Um, the pictures that I have of flowers and my favorite word, love on it. And this is my new background. So hopefully you guys like it. Comment below and let me know if you like it. Um, I'm just chilling today and decided to make a video. I made this video before, and I'm trying not to remember, but I made this video before. My air and stuff was not working correctly. It was extremely hot. The air was just fixed on last Wednesday. It's cool. I don't have any fans on. I don't have any noise in the background. And I went to go edit the video that I first made, and I could hear the fans and stuff in the background, and it didn't sound really good, so I decided to do it over. So let's get into it. The infamous... Bath and Body Works bag. So let's get started with the empties. Okay, the first thing that I have is a shower gel share fresca um, from Bath and Body Works. This is an old school bottle. And this was when body wash was $9.50. I may have gotten this in the semi-annual sale. Um, don't quote me on it because this is an old bottle. Um, I love this scent. This scent I think you can purchase online. I went through it. Um, I think I have another one. Um, another one of these scents somewhere in my little collection in my little stash but it was good i enjoyed it definitely definitely would be a repurchase for me the next item that i have is romantic wish this is by victoria's secrets and i'm not putting this stuff up close now this is by victoria's secrets um again i don't and i always say this with victoria's secrets they change their scents all the time and i don't know if they even have this scent but it was a really, really good scent. Every time I wear this scent, I get a lot of compliments on this scent. Um, I still have the spray and the lotion that goes to it. But of course, you always use the body wash up first. So that is that. The next thing that I have, um, Caress is probably my favorite uh, body wash that I like to use besides Bath & Body Works. I love Caress. I always buy Caress. They have a really, really good line, a really great selection to me of scents. And I got this right here. This is Caress. It's the fine, um, the fine fragrance. It's 12 hour fragrance release. This is, I'm going to say, Bastique Forever. I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but a great body wash, a great scent. I like it. I think that there are three or four of these. Because when you wear, when you wash it, it is supposed to still have a fragrance as you move, and you're still supposed to be able to smell it. I don't necessarily know if that's the case or not, because I always put on body spray and perfume, so it could like you know overpower the scent. But really, really great. Definitely would be a repurchase. Again, I love Caress, and I will always repurchase Caress. The next body wash that I have here, I'm trying to stay like, you know, within the safe category instead of just pulling random stuff out. This is St. Ives and it's even and bright pink lemon and mandarin orange body wash. I got this when they probably had a buy one, get one free sale. Um, would I run out and purchase this just because? No. Would I purchase it on sale? Probably. Um, I only really use this more or less in the morning time because it was really, really a bright, like pick me up scent. And Citrus, I can't use citrus scents in the nighttime. It's just, I don't know. And I think you're not supposed to really use citrus scents in the nighttime. I mean, it was a really, really good um, set. Like I said, also, I'll repurchase it just because, eh, probably not. The next thing I have is another Bath and Body um, Works um, shower gel, old school bottle. I can't say if I had this when it was. Old school bottle again. This um, is Rich Citrus Cream Shower Gel. Love this scent, and I don't think that they brought this scent back. Um, they could have brought it back in a semi annual sale, but I don't know if they brought this scent back. I really, really love this scent. This scent is more um, more of a warm citrus scent compared to the body wash that I just showed you. This is more of a warm, creamy citrus scent, and I kind of like warm scents 
more so than I like bright scents. I don't know why, but I like more warm scents. And this is a more warm scent. I think we should bring this scent back. I definitely would repurchase this scent. I love it. It's really good. And I was kind of sad that I already used it all up. But it is what it is. Um, let's see. The next thing I have is the old school right here. Shout out, shout I know everybody has had this in their house at some point in time. Um, I like using this basically because I am a busty um, woman. And when it's hot outside, I tend to sweat in that area. Um, and this really helps to make you, you know, keep you fresh as you're moving in the heat. But I, I use this all year round. I really, really like this. And that's what I use it for. Um... I've been having a hard time finding this. I found it at Walmart, but when I went to Walmart, they, there weren't that many on the shelf. Maybe like five or six of them. I only got two. And um, when I went to another Walmart, I didn't see it at all. So I'm not sure if they're like getting rid of this. I'm not sure what's going on with it. But um, hopefully they don't because I really, really like this powder. The next thing I have here is Argon Plus Body Butter. I knew I bought this from TJ Maxx on Marshalls. Um, it was really, really good. It was a nice, rich, um, creamy body butter. Um, if I saw it again, I probably would repurchase it. I love body butters. They're like my favorite thing. I enjoyed it. It was really, really good. It was a nice, rich, creamy um, body butter. The next thing that I have is from the body shop this is the um i think this is the cocoa butter one yeah the cocoa butter i love this it smells so great um i think i have three of these left i had i think i have three backups i really really enjoy this one of my favorite scents and i wear this all year round i don't care if it's hot cold outside whatever going on i like co like coconut and cocoa butter stuff i would excuse me i wear it all year round so Definitely, definitely love that and will repurchase it. Of course, I already told y'all that I have several. This is the Righteous Body Butter by Soap and Glory. This is a little travel size. I had this a long time. When Sephora was carrying this, I got it. And then Sephora stopped carrying it and I was going through withdrawal. But now TJ Maxx and Ulta carries it and I bought the big jar. I have been using the heck out of that thing. This smells so good. It, it, it's like a perfume. And I... In the jar. It's just really, really good. Great. Love it. Already have it. The next thing that I have here is Rose Argon Body Conditioner. I love this stuff from Lush. It is so good. It is expensive, but it is good. So this was um, before they started bringing out the ones that you can buy, like at Walmart or the drugstores, like the Jergens and all that stuff. Um, I got this. I love this stuff. It is so nice, rich, and creamy. Um, I will repurchase it. I definitely will repurchase it. it. Again, it's expensive. I think this right here was maybe like $32 or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but it was expensive. But a little of this goes a long way. So you, you won't go through it really, really fast because a little bit, honestly, a little bit of this goes a very, very long way. So if you go to um, Lush, they give you samples, try it out. I'm telling you, this stuff is the bomb. Come on. The last three things that I have in my bag are like face related stuff, skincare related stuff. Um, this is Garnier and it's the Skin um, Renew Dark Spot Overnight Peel. I love this stuff. I was using this stuff some years ago and I was having, I wouldn't say I was having a hard time finding it, I had stopped using it. It was expensive, like this little bottle right here was $15. That's expensive from getting it from like Walmart or the drugstore. It's very expensive, but I recently found it in Marshalls. Like I've been finding it in Marshalls and picking it up every time I've seen one, I've been picking it up. So you use this at night and it helps with the dark spots. Y'all, this stuff works and it's very inexpensive. I think I got this, it might've been $3.99 from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It might have been $3.99. Good stuff. Have it. I'm still using it for everybody as long as it's on the market. The next thing that I have is the Body Shop um, Drops of Youth Concentrates um, Serum. This stuff is wonderful. Um, I think I've been using this for maybe about three years now um, from the Body Shop. I always repurchase it. Um, I will repurchase it, but I'm not going to repurchase it soon because... Um, I think I'm going to get the Lancome Serum. Um, 
I want to use that because I had a couple of samples of it and really enjoyed it. And I think we're going to go go get that. And I definitely will purchase this again. It's really, really good. It's nice. It gives you a nice pick-me-up in the skin. So if you see it, go try it out. The last thing that I have, y'all, this thing looks like it's been through the storm. And it just wants to be thrown in the trash. It's like, please throw me away. <laughs> This is um, Ambien and it is the um, Fade Cream. I love this stuff. I still I have it. I always repurchase it. I have dark spots or I get dark spots. Like I get hyperpigmentation on my skin for some odd reason. I could have a zit and it could be the smallest, teeniest zit and it will still leave a mark. I don't know what it is, why, but I've been using this and it works so well. Um, so if you see it and you have the same issue, go ahead and purchase it. So that's it, y'all, for my empties, my first empties video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe. And until next time, remember to be beautiful inside and out. Love you, honeys. Bye. And always, always, I forgot to say, be blessed. Bye, honeys.